Welcome back. I've got a Blu-ray update. I uh, went through all my recent purchases and watched them and checked out the special features, so now I'm ready to talk about it. Uh, first up is uh, a Vinegar Center release, Play Dead, which is a nice cover. Vinegar Center does such a great job with these films. I mean, no matter how bad they are, they, they, they do such a great job. Uh, this was directed by a guy named... Hang on a second. Somebody texting me here. Peter Whitman. Uh, it's got an interview with the director, an interview with the actress, Stephanie Dunham. Basically, it's a possessed dog film. And it's not bad. I mean, I, I, I definitely recommend picking it up. Particularly if you like possessed dogs. Next up is a Code Red release for The Redeemer. This is an interesting film, very uh, psychedelic. Uh, I mean, it's a, it's nineteen late nineteen seventies. It's supposed to be a kind of in the slasher category, but it's more of a uh, a thriller in a way. Uh, very interesting, and uh, really not much is not much is known about this director. Uh, I think he only did one film. Produced by Sheldon Drumberg. Never heard of him. A lot of people I've never heard of in this one. But it's definitely worth picking up. And, the, and this release is, uh, particularly if, you, if you're collecting slasher films, this is, this is one you want to definitely pick up. Decent, it's a decent uh, camera negative. All right, let's see. Next up is another Code Red release, Terror Circus. This one was really, I thought, was very good. 1970s grindhouse film. It's got a little featurette, making of featurette. Uh, it's an HD transfer from the original camera negative. Starring Andrew Prine. Andrew Prine is an underrated actor, I think, particularly from the 70s. I really like Andrew Prine. Anyway, Terra Circus is a decent film, too. Next up, I, I bought, this is a double dip. And I didn't even realize it till I did it. I got taken by the packaging, and that is Slaughterhouse. Basically, Slaughterhouse, this is really a nice packaging. I don't know that I would have bought it again. I own Slaughterhouse three or four different times. There's an 88 Films release, and now the Vinegar Syndrome release. But this is the same release that was done in 2016. It's just repackaged. So they got me. They got me on it. Uh, if you want to know more about Slaughterhouse, which is a, really a fun film, uh, I did a thorough review and a comparison of the releases some time ago. It's in my archive if you want to check it out. Next up is a film that I grew up with. I love it dearly, and that's Dracula, Prince of Darkness. Probably the best resurrection sequence in all of the Hammer Dracula films. Uh, you know, it's it, for some people it starts out kind of slow, but once the 40 minutes goes and the resurrection occurs, it's it's just nonstop. It's a great film. Uh, Andrew Keir does a great job as the priest, kind of a, uh, a gruff priest that, that takes on Dracula. Love, I mean, he's, it's hard to replace Peter Cushing, obviously, but he does a, he does a fan, fantastic job. This release from Scream Factory has a brand new audio commentary. I listened to all the commentaries, including the old archive commentary with Christopher Lee and Barbara Shelley. It's a 4K scan, and it's got a new commentary with audio with uh, Arthur Troy Howarth, who's very good. Uh, it's also got a World of Hammer episode and a documentary, Back to Black. So, yeah, this is an outstanding release from Scream Factory. Good stuff here. Love, love, love the Hammer Dracula films. And if you've seen my um, top ten franchises, this is up there. Next up is another Vinegar Syndrome release, and that's Dominique. Uh, Dominique is a basically a, a story about a guy trying to basic to steal his wife's money. It's it's another murder of the wife for the money routine, but there's a lot of there's a lot of plot elements to it that are that are a little bit different than the norm. 
directed by Michael Anderson. It's a new scan, a 2K scan. It's got an interview with the actor Michael Joston and an interview with the assistant director. Good stuff from Vinegar Syndrome as always. Blu-ray, DVD. Okay. Next up is a, another code red. This is uh, Kill or Be Killed. This is a... It's a martial arts film with... Um, and it's 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 kind of run of the mill '70s martial arts film. It's not bad. Not not something I'll revisit. Uh, Edward Montoro, the notorious Edward Montoro, who disappeared, uh, produced this. Stars James Ryan. Uh, it's it's a it's a HD master scan. Uh, it's kind of a it's kind of a Basically, it's it's a an attempt to take advantage of Enter the Dragon's success financially, but not nearly as good. All right, next up is the corruption of Miss Chris Miller. This is a giallo and a very good giallo too. I have to admit, I liked it very much. Great artwork, great release. Uh, yeah, this is not your average giallo. It's a scan, a 4K scan from the 35 millimeter original negative. Uh, it's got a retrospective interview with the director Juan Antonio Barden and some short films from him. Uh, it also talks about the tragic life of Jean Seberg. She's the Jean Seberg was a was an actress that. Um, well, she had a, just a tragic life, but she did a great job in this film. Excellent, excellent giallo. Recommend it. Next up is the much anticipated, much talked about Dead Pit. This is the release with the uh, glow in the dark cover. And it does glow in the dark. It, it's very cool. And I like the film a lot. I was surprised how much I liked the film. Very good, very good film. This is another code red. Brand new 2K scan and an on-camera interview with the star Cheryl Lawson, director Brett Leonard. Um, this is a, um, I guess it's a cross between Reanimator and uh, Return of the Living Dead. I, I liked it a lot. I, I have to admit, it was, it was, I bought it obviously because it was much anticipated, particularly this cover. I mean, this this slip cover was making people go gonzo on the internet forums. But uh, so I wasn't expecting much from the film, but I, I really liked it. I have to admit. And here is a new release from Vinegar Syndrome. This is uh, Savage Harbor Death Feud. Bad film. Oh my God. And you want to talk about a film that's like trapped in the '80s? I mean, this is trapped in the '80s. Frank Stallone is in this, and he wears an outfit that was only done in, only in the '80s. I mean, um, you have to see it to believe it. Chris Mitchum is in it. It's a 2K scan from the original camera negative. Um, you know, this film has this film has lines like "Do you like avocados?" I mean, it's just it's just it's so bad. It's entertaining. Uh, Frank Stallone does not have a whole lot of good things to say about it. This also has a uh, poster that came with it. But yeah, I mean, it's still it was still entertaining in its own respects. It's uh, it's just a bad, bad movie with horrible, horrible dialogue, but it's entertaining dialogue. And Frank Stallone, I mean, if you want to know what the '80s was like, watch watch Savage Harbor and look at Frank Stallone's outfit, and you'll get a feel for it. Next up is a film I already have, but uh, I had to pick this up. This is The Tower of Evil. Proto slasher film from Scorpion. It's a brand new HD scan of the original Interpositive. It's got an audio commentary with the producer Richard Gordon. Very good audio commentary, by the way. Uh, interviews with actress Soretta Wilson and the composer. 
and you can play it in Katarina Nightmare Mode. Definitely recommend this Proto Slasher. It's a slasher on an island. It also comes with the soundtrack, which is interesting. Definitely recommend this release. Got to add this to your slasher collection. Next up, Terra Train. Uh, this is a film I've already got a Blu-ray release of it, but this has Scream Factory did a good job on this. A brand new 2K scan. Interview with the director Roger Spotswood. Interview with the writer Judith, Judith Roscoe. Interview with production executive Don Carmody. bunch of bunch of interviews. Uh, this is a this is kind of a, a lot of people consider this a classic, and I, I'm in that camp. And a lot of people consider it uh, overrated. So I think it I like it because I like claustrophobic horror. And uh, you can't get much more claustrophobic than being trapped on a train. And I thought the lead actor was great in this. Very good. The killer was excellent. Jamie Lee Curtis was excellent. So yeah, I rec definitely recommend Tr Terror Train. And then finally, this is getting ready to fall. This stack is getting ready to fall. Godzilla 3D. Kind of rounding out my Godzilla collection. It is slow. It is slow. It is slow. But the, once you get to the once you get to Godzilla, it's uh, it's more it's more about the um, the little spider like creatures that. It, it, the problem is Godzilla takes a back seat to these other prehistoric creatures that that he battles. Uh, other otherwise, I think it's a good film. The 3D was excellent. This does not have any special features. It's just the film in 3D. Um, I would like to say that uh, Gareth Edwards is. I, I like Gareth, I like what Gareth Edwards does, uh, but I am I am more on the side of being disappointed with the film, particularly because it didn't showcase Godzilla the way I would have liked. But all in all, I mean, I'm a Godzilla fanatic, so I still enjoyed watching it. All right, guys, I think that's going to do it for this update, but I will be back with others. Thanks for watching.